Hello everyone, I'm Renown Zero. We are back yet again talking about detractors, of course, but this time it happens to be that people from the other side of creators, we'll say, have decided to send people towards my way. And of course, we have a special guest that we have to talk about named Tiso Spencer. I'm sure people have seen him before talking a whole bunch of noise about Eric and of course saying bunch of stuff about his universe, bunch of stuff about him in general, but he gets mad, of course, when he gets blocked, and he decides to come at my neck, as well as some other people that decide to randomly come at my neck for whatever reason, just because I exist, and they like to talk a lot of noise, and think they get these weird gotchas, you got people cheering them on, thinking they're doing something special, when all they're really doing is embarrassing themselves, and making themselves look even more silly, and they like to pretend that I'm not monetizing them. And it's kind of interesting how my Twitter account goes down randomly. Even though I'm supposedly a quote-unquote lol cow. I'm not really making money on YouTube against these people monetizing them daily. But for some reason they feel the need to come at my neck all the time, like I said. And take me down even though if I'm supposed to be a quote-unquote low cow, that would mean I'm destroying myself some type of way, even though I'm gaining followers every single day, while they all sit there and be stagnant and continue to complain about a man having success, and for me having success, making fun of you guys and bringing the entertainment to my lovely, lovely viewers and supporters, and I thank them every single day for watching my videos all the time as we head towards 2,000 subscribers. But uh, all that being said, Let's get into the video, starting again, of course, as usual, with the Ripperverse store, Blade Devil 2, Chains of Blood, multiple covers, great artwork from Raging Golden Eagle, who's writing the story, and Toxic Man Baby, who's drawing the story, drawing the artwork, we'll say, actually, that's what I meant to say. Beautiful, beautiful artwork all around, 69 pages, two supplemental stories. If you want to get in on the first issue, come right over here. We also have Relentlessly Bullied Hero, which is a book I've recently backed. Seems like it has eight more days. It's got 28 backers. It's only $94 away from reaching its goal of 1000 that is needed. 95% of the book is completed. So if you want to get in a story like this, we'll take a look at some of the artwork you'll see here. And you decide whether or not you would like to back it. So now if anyone's wondering, yeah. My, my account's temp, span, temp suspended using a separate account that I've made for my podcast that I was doing for a little bit. I got two episodes. We'll see if I continue to do that podcast. But we're going to start with this person named Mr. Frogo that decides to randomly tweet at me and tag me. Saying, according to this renowned Zero Dork... People like me that dare to criticize ISOM aren't real indie backers like him. Here's where you get it disastrously wrong. My problem is that people that are criticizing ISOM are people that don't actually care about comics for the most like for the most part. It just seems like they just ha want somebody to attack, want to tear somebody down that they disagree with or dislike in some way. And yeah, for the most part, most of y'all do not have indie books. Y'all don't back indie projects. You sit up here, cry about indie comics all the time. You cry about Eric all the time. You claim to back the projects you have. And you claim to back projects, but receipts are never shown. Whether you back it, whether you have it, whether you've read it, reviewed it, none of that is ever shown. So for you to get it disastrously wrong when you don't even listen to what exactly I say is hilarious. And I'm going to monetize you and make fun of you for a little bit. I'd like to see his receipts. You know, the receipts that I put up every time I back a book. I always put it on Twitter with a picture of the dollar amount, by the way. And I tag the person who is creating the project and telling them how excited I am for it. If people that follow me notice... Every time that Joe Ball puts out something involving his death, death, death book, I always repost it. I always like it. And I always say, let's go waiting for this book. It looks amazing because I actually have that book pre-ordered or 
helping him crowdfund it, we'll say, is what it really is. Because the book's not finished. Unlike anything from Ripperverse, where it's already finished before it's put up for pre-order, not crowdfund. It's already paid for. I've also backed dozens on other platforms. Well, congratulations to you. You would be the first person ever to present receipts. I'll give you props for that. But for you to go out of your way to say the nonsense that you're saying to me is hilarious. Eric July and his simps just talk out of their ass, though. Meanwhile, you have never seen me ever. This is the first time you've ever interacted with me. So you'd have absolutely no idea what receipts I had, which like I said, you put this, right? You have 174 contributions. That doesn't tell me nothing. That doesn't tell me how much you spent. That doesn't tell me what projects you're backing. That doesn't tell me how many projects you've canceled or anything. It doesn't really give me much information to go off of besides 174 contributions, right? I have plenty of contributions. Probably spent more than you have. I've presented the receipts of all the books that I have. All different books. All different variants. So, for you to try to cover my neck like that is hilarious. I think Joel Frago, Frago just told you to clean your curtains. Don't know what that means. You're a loser. I guess you wanted that sort of like Jesus. You're not. You're a piece of garbage. You're always on here talking your bullshit. You ain't got really much to say outside of being a loser. So, I respond by saying this. You've backed books. I've backed collections, bigger editions. Calling someone a dork while looking like this, I wouldn't be talking. Also, I always post receipts every time I back a book. I actually had Yellow Flash tell me, you know, attacking his looks kind of low, even though I said it. You know, he called me all these different things, but somehow I'm supposed to respond to him in some respectful way when the first time I've ever interacted with the dude this is how he responds so Joe Russell shout out by the way he's always got my back it seems as well as people like LG and, and MSK and a couple others I might forget um, Chloe to be honest Frogo Zero has always been nice and cool with me I have only seen him retaliate against those calling him silly names and antagonizing him first I have been critical of Isom and, and Eric July. He was cordial with me. He likes what he likes, and I'm happy for him. Yeah, Joe Russell doesn't fully, isn't fully on board with Isom, but I never told him, I never told him anything terrible. I just said, "That's cool, man. I'm glad you had this opinion. You know, you're allowed to have the opinion. We don't have to agree on this. That's fine. That's what I tell most of my haters that like to come into my comment section and say a bunch of nonsense, even though they like to pass it off as truth." You made a claim and he proved you wrong and you tried to decide to attack his looks. Why? Oh, like people have been attacking my looks for about a week or two now since Megacon, basically. Oh, I don't know. Two responses and still no receipts proving his claim that people like me don't back indie creators and he does. All these MF are just blowhards. By the way, this isn't two responses. This is one response. That I edited because I have the money to get Twitter blue. Unlike yourself. You're brokey. So I mean. It's not two responses. It's one response that was edited. Stupid. That's why there's a little marker right here. That says I edited this post. You fucking moron. You should probably. You should probably try. Learning something about Twitter. Before you try to say that I responded to you twice. When there's a there's a little pencil right here that says I edited this post. Just so you can see. Yes. I edited the post. Dummy. Emma for cries in a video about he's being attacked. Then mocks my appearance and calls me a brokey. I get by alright. And I'm objectively beautiful according to who? According to who exactly? Dude's probably one of them people who think that posting a picture of themselves smoking is cool. <laughs> yes. Yes. Where's the smoke? Bring it. You don't... You don't <laughs> You obviously couldn't handle the smoke, dude. You're trying so hard to come off as someone who looks good. That's... You're not... It's not working. 
And I said, what video is that exactly? Remember, I don't know who you are. You came at my neck calling me a dork. You say, I get by all right. That doesn't sound like you make a lot of money. And judging by the house with this, with, with, like, there's missing paint, bruh. On this, there's missing paint here. This does, none of this looks good. Look at the neighborhood you're in, in the background. You look like you live in a broke ass neighborhood. There's a freaking broken window over here. What, what are you talking about? While simultaneously trying to knock my ability to spend money on campaigns and having spent more than most of you clowns is crazy to me. If you don't want that smoke on this app, then why are you tagging me? Because you're talking about I'm crying and all this other stuff, right? Just because I smoked you on here. You ain't got much to say outside of being a loser. This was, of course, a post telling me to delete myself. It got removed or whatever. I did have a screenshot in the comments, which is probably why my account got removed. I got temps suspended, I guess. And I said, shout out to Weapon X, by the way, to, for this. But to, for my haters, you can get fucked. For anyone who's been following me, you notice a pattern of my haters. They almost always never show their face and yet want to talk about how other people look. It's almost as if they're a bunch of overweight out of shape, short motherfuckers projecting their insecurities onto me. Also, they're pretty gay. We can't forget that. Because apparently I have bigger tits than the Sasuke sisters. Make it make sense. I'm a hobbit, even though hobbits t typically are three feet tall. And looks overweight to me. Again, you're showing a character from Yakuza. Who has a, a diaper fetish. This is a character, by the way, that has a diaper fetish. Who wants to be treated as if he is a baby, but he's actually a full-grown adult. That's the character you chose to put as your avatar. The guy that has an adult a fetish of being a baby while being an adult and wearing diapers, bro. That's the avatar you chose? <laughs> wow. But here we are, finally, to Tiso Spencer, who has something... Very stupid to say, as always, because he's an idiot. Hello, new hater. Let me start by showing off my face in an avatar. While AI augmented, it does not show me in a different status or look to how I normally look, including your two liver spots on top of your head. Your avatar, however, portrays a fictional, idolized version you wish yourself to be. It's a fabrication of reality. Wow, because I definitely want to, I want to portray myself as some fat overweight individual in my AI picture. No, I definitely don't want to go ahead and look like I have extreme muscles in my AI picture because I definitely don't want to look like that at some point in my near future. Now that we got that portion out of the way, let's tackle the fact that you're fat. You are. Once again, being an individual that does not show their body, you show the top of your head with two wrinkle spots looking like you got a double chin. I saw your responses to other people when they got you with this gotcha image. It's not a gotcha image if I posted it myself, you fucking idiot. It's not a gotcha image if I put the image myself and I was proud of that image. Still am, by the way, which is why I'm monetizing your stupid ass right now. The problem is whatever excuse you want to give about you don't see results from working on losing weight overnight, which is the truth, doesn't work. It doesn't work because you lack self-awareness. What self-awareness am I lacking besides what I just factually stated, by the way? Most workouts don't happen, you know, results don't happen overnight. It takes Sometimes it takes years. <laughs> you can't be critical or make assumptions about someone's appearance and weight. I absolutely can when you don't show your face. I can absolutely make a, an assumption of someone's appearance and weight, considering that if some people that were talking all this noise actually looked good, I don't think you would have a problem showing off yourself. I'm just saying. Especially if they aren't showing you anything about themselves and they look the way you do. So let's use your logic then. So that means no one can make assumptions about my height or weight, even though they're doing so by saying I am five foot three, two hundred and twenty pounds, sometimes two hundred and thirty pounds, even though I've never ever put out my height or weight on the internet, not a single time. So by your logic, I guess rules for thee, but not for me. So y'all can sit up here and say how tall I am and assume how tall I am and assume my weight. But if I tell you motherfuckers 
that you're 350 pounds out of weight, out of overweight, out of shape, and short, I'm not allowed to do that according to you. How about go fuck yourself? And they look the way you do. Your beard looks dishibbled. You have a gut and man boobs. I do not have man boobs. You idiots, again, don't know how fitness works. If I had man boobs, my fucking chest would be slouched, which they are not. It's just the angle of the picture that is taken. Again, something I know very much about is photography and how that works. I hope this education proves fruitful for you. You can use this monetize your haters for measly 7 cents on YouTube with your laughable low sub count, low effort YouTube channel. Yes, my low effort, low sub count YouTube channel that gains subs every single day. That people absolutely enjoy and I get thousands of views on every single week. Does not make 7 cents. And for you to sit up here and assume, once again, because of you're saying you can't make assumptions, right? We're going to go by your logic. So you are making assumptions on how much my videos actually make, which tells me right away that you don't know shit about YouTube. As do every single other person that thinks they know how much money I make, which is also something I've never put out there either. Because it makes you weirdo so angry that I don't tell you how much money I make on YouTube. Because I'm not that person. I'm not insecure about my money. I mean, these are also the same people that think I don't have a real job. Which is also something I don't put out there because I know how you weirdos and you psychos work. I mean, considering that you've doxed my mother's face. Yeah, because I'm definitely going to go around and put out what my actual job is. <laughs> and I respond by saying, oh no, I have an AI generated image of something I aspire to be. Whatever will I do? Which, by the way, the AI that's used there, I actually have an outfit like that. It's Castlevania inspired, you idiot. You look related to the bald wench out there. For anyone who doesn't know the bald wenches who's new here, we're talking about Vicky Verse. The poor, homeless, volunteers at a soup kitchen lady that likes to talk a lot of crap about that creator and Eric July's success. Your face is round. You have du you got double chins, homie. I don't have that. I can guarantee I'm stronger than you and more intelligent than you. The fact that you paid $8 to make longer posts and no one cares what you have to say is hilarious. Which, by the way, no one actually cared. You got seven likes in a day. In 24 hours, you got seven likes. You already established yourself as a hater towards Eric July, who blocked you and you cried about it. What I said is true, and clearly you know nothing about fitness. For me to have some fat, as you would claim, okay, I'm not offended at all. That's the difference, That's the difference between you and all the other retarded motherfuckers that get offended over being called fat. You tried coming on my neck while being a loser. You tried educating me about YouTube when you don't even do it. Stop acting as if you're intelligent. You speak as if you're looking for some clout that you're not going to get from me. You're ankle biting as because you're miserable. Your life is hating on successful people and then crying about it when people make money off of your stupidity. What you need to do is stop crying like a bitch online. Pay to go grab some titties because that's, that's the only way that's happening for you. Go find a hobby outside of having bitter bitch syndrome. Trying to count other people's money and go fuck yourself. With your two liver spots on top of your head. And the fact that you even said you have glasses and that's what makes you intelligent. No. You have glasses because you can't fucking see. Or you need them to read. Those are the only two reasons. How that makes any sense. I wish people had more self-awareness. It makes obliterating them online more satisfying. Again, you've obliterated no one but yourself. The fact that you've responded in a typical triggered way is a defeatist mindset. You're weak. No, I responded just like I respond to everyone on the internet. And I made you sound stupid. Also, have you heard about sentence structure, paragraphs, etc.? You might want to look into that instead of whatever this big wall of text is. Yes, a fantasy which I pointed out. You're not actually practicing what you're preaching when you attempt to assault people, insult people. Who come at you without profile pictures that aren't their real faces. I can insult you motherfuckers all damn day long about how you look. Considering that you don't want to show your face. You're clearly not proud of the way you look if that's the case. So I merely pointed out that while my face has AI touch-ups. This is how I look IRL. Well you're an ugly fucking bald dude. Sorry to tell you. But if I had to put you next to Az from Heels vs. Babyface. And ask women who they thought looked better. I'm pretty sure 
without a shadow of a doubt, they would say Az looks better than you. So, it's not an embellishment. Yours is. You don't look like that, so you have no right to talk about another person's appearance when you look like a fat, deceitful, bearded gremlin. Okay? The AI technology that was used to make that photo used my actual face, you fucking moron. Again, you're talking about shit you know nothing about. So, shut the fuck up. Stop acting as if you're intelligent. Your face has already got double chins. You have a beard that looks like pubic hair bloomed on your face. It's hiding your chins for starters. No, it isn't. It's also hiding your neck fat. No, it isn't because I have neither of those things. Also, generally heads are round. Yours is very rounded. though. Like you've got a lot of fat going on over there. I wish I was delusional than you. You can't be stronger than me if you look like the comic book shop guy from The Simpsons. Except not as fat. You do realize that people that actually look fat sometimes can lift shit that's 450 pounds now i'm not saying i can lift that much but i definitely do lift more than i weigh on various amounts of exercises why do you assume you're stronger than me why do you assume you're more intelligent than me i don't assume these things i know these things as a fact as a fact i guarantee i'm stronger than you which is why i said it i guarantee and i'm not going away from that position of being more intelligent than you or stronger than you i guarantee those things are correct. Your $8. I'll switch to my newer glasses for a second. Am I correct that you're paying $8 a month to make longer posts that no one cares about? With a YouTube channel that only has 1.7k followers making videos about more successful and relevant people in the space than you? Hmm. Let's, let's, let's dissect that one. $8 a month for longer posts that no one cares about. My posts get more likes than yours, you fucking moron. Let's go back to what I said. You got seven likes in an hour, in a day. In one day, you got seven likes on a long post. My response to you got 11. Now, it's not a big deal, not a huge deal, but the point still stands. I got more likes than you. You made this long ass post. Which Taser GG shout out by the way, she summed it up exactly how I would have responded. I ain't reading all that. You got three fucking likes and you made a longer post than me, dissecting everything I said. My response to that statement got 10 likes in a shorter amount of time. So whose post do people not really care about? Shit's yours. I'm pretty sure it's yours. YouTube channel only has 1.7k followers. I've only been doing it consistently for a year and a half. You know how many followers your YouTube channel has? Zero. So don't start talking about my numbers when you ain't got shit going on. Making videos about more successful and relevant people in the space. No, I'm making videos calling out the bullshit of the more successful and relevant people in the space. To the point where I've become slightly relevant for people, my fans, by the way, that recognize me when I walk in, into Megacon few weeks ago, including Eric July, because I know, I know, I know it hurts y'all so much that you want to come up with this weird narrative of Eric July doesn't know who I am. No, Eric July knows exactly who I am. Why? Because I've met with people from his team prior to ever meeting the guy. And I've met Eric July twice. Twice now. I've met Sheep Sidian. I've met Horror Murata, I've met Carol Brown, I've met Carlin, I've met the Saskas and Mike Barron. So they know who I am. And Carl Brown recognized me by the way. She's an awesome person in the Ripperverse team. All those people, well, I'd say 90% of those people, recognized who I am. So, which by the way, last year, my most successful video was actually talking about the psychopath that went after Carl Lynn's job, which got over 5,000 views. Anyway, self awareness, please get some. Also, why are you responding to me in this manner if no one cares what I say? No, I'm responding to you in the matter because you're coming at me, but yet I can make fun of you and make money off of you. That's why I'm responding because I can make money off you if you keep on talking enough. You already established yourself as a hater towards Eric July. Yes, I'm a hater. You're, you're saying you're a hater of Eric July for a multitude of reasons, including how bad the Ripperverse is. Congratulations. Opinions are like assholes. Everyone has one. 
All legitimate reasons. Absolutely not. Also, fitness is great. You have to actually go to the gym. You allegedly claim you do. I don't allegedly claim I actually go there. I have it all recorded in my phone. Good job, though. That's a nice one. Also, keep in mind that you're going to a gym in the first place, correct? Which means you're trying to get into shape, which would correlate to people correctly calling out the fact you're fat. It's your fact? You mean you're fat? Yeah, because again, fitness takes a while to get perfectly in shape. And by the way, lower abs are the hardest muscle to train, you stupid fuck. They take the longest to develop if you didn't know that, which you don't know that. Because like I said already, you don't know shit about fitness. Just want to make sure the narrative's correct. I want to make sure that you, you know, you put in the right words before you, you keep talking. For me to have some fat, as you would claim, okay, I'm not, okay. Do you remember how you started your post off trying to assault my appearance by commenting on my bald head? You know, that thing that's very noticeable. Do you think I, someone who has, who proudly has their picture of their bald head in their profile picture is offended when someone tries to lower for common insult like that? You mean how I put out a picture of me with the Saska sisters? Proudly, by the way, not really caring what anybody thought about it by just posting it. Knowing damn well that I know that I have replied, guys. I reply to literally everything that I say and do on this app. So, just just kind of pointing out the hypocrisies in your dumbass statement for you. Because you're clearly, again, not intelligent. You have the, you have the IQ of a gnat. You tried coming at my neck. I came at your gut because you're weird. Stop acting you're intelligent. The glasses prove that you're intelligent, apparently. That has to be the absolute dumbest shit I have ever heard. I hate to bring this to your attention, but you're a nobody. Your YouTube channel proves it. No one knows who you are. The fact that you're so desperately involved with the Eric July and the Saska sisters. That's not even a fucking... That's not an argument. The fact that you're so desperate to be involved with Eric July and the Saska sisters. What, was there an extra piece that you forgot to type here? Because... This isn't even a complete statement. It's funny how you like to claim you're intelligent and that you're smarter than me, yet you always have you have an incomplete statement. You have an incomplete statement. What? Oh, I'm a no again. I'm a nobody. My YouTube channel proves it. My YouTube channel proves that I have 1,748 subscribers as of the recording of this video, and I get subs every single day and thousands of views. Every single week. But somehow I'm a nobody even though I get recognized while I'm going to MegaCon. Like I said. I didn't expect to be recognized by a, no a lot of people. But let's see. I got recognized again by Eric July himself. Carol Brown. Ronan the Crusader. Vagabond Vaughn. So that's four people. That's four people. Which I've interacted with. All of them. <laughs> so. Yeah. I'm totally a nobody, even though I get recognized right away by people. You're ankle biting, and you respond with, I'm pretty happy with my life. You're clearly not if you're responding in such a bitch-made manner with your massive amount of sentence. Because last I checked, you didn't have this Twitter Blue or Premium X or whatever it's called prior to a couple months ago. I helped create and beloved. A beloved hated character that I know nothing about. A lot of people took a real shine to a very independent video game. And I have a ton of fan art of that character that you didn't present, by the way. You didn't present the game. You didn't present the fan art. You didn't present anything. You just spewed crap onto the screen and thought it was going to be a, a, a win for you. You do understand, Eric, not you, is the one making the money you wished you could with whatever irrelevant stuff you're doing, right? What? Everyone wishes they could be the multi-millionaire making a successful comic book company. That has got to be one of the dumbest arguments in this entire statement. I never questioned Ripperverse's successes financially. It's in decline. It's poorly managed. Yeah, it's so poorly managed that it got all the books out on time. Got all the products to all the people that purchased it. Unlike certain creators that have campaigns that are... Three, four, five, six years behind that still aren't out there. And I said, what you need to do is stop crying like a bitch online. Here's a question. What exactly is your YouTube channel doing? What are these all these bitching online posts about people like a certain creator that you keep making? Are they not quote unquote bitch made? No, they're just calling out the nonsense and the hypocrisy of the people trying to come at other people's necks. Like heel versus babyface, nerve 
Geeks and Gamers, Era July, Anna That Star Wars Girl, and all the other creators that I like on this space. That people talk a lot of shit and make up a lot of shit. Also, you've presented some videos that have nothing to do with the people complaining online posts, like the female director and the Fantastic Forecast revealed, by the way, which was a positive video the Fantastic Forecast was. And the other one was about the director being banned from only making one Star Wars film. So you presented a bunch of videos, right? Which, by the way, let's see. Let's go through this, by the way. This one was talking about this person comparing Eric to Jesus. This wasn't even about Eric. This wasn't about Eric. This wasn't about Eric. This wasn't about Eric. This wasn't about Eric. This, about Eric. this one wasn't about Eric. This one wasn't about Eric. This is Jim. This is this one over here is actually another positive video which talks about Jim Carrey coming back to Sonic the Hedgehog 3 as Dr. Eggman, you dumbass. This one was about a book being announced that was brand new, The Horseman, and talking about the detractors complaining and crying about it. This one is about the detractors crying about people having fun at Megacon, which again has nothing to do with Air July. And this one is about Black Angus saying that Anna, that Star Wars girl, was, was grifting off of a dead sibling. So out of all 12 videos that you've presented here, only one of them is actually about Eric. And that's the one I just made. Because again, you retards are fucking thumbnail reactors. You're fucking thumbnail reactors. Because you see Eric in a thumbnail, you automatically assume it's about Eric. Meanwhile, you don't read the title and you don't watch the video. So you just react to it because it shows Eric in the damn thumbnail. People on YouTube are used to familiarity. So I constantly put him in the thumbnail because people are familiar and people will click on it. Like all you don't like some people that are curious, but most of you just see a thumbnail with Eric July in it. Don't actually read what the title says. You don't read what the thumbnail actually says. And you react to a thumbnail. So what are you proving here exactly? I love doing this to you dumbasses. I love showing how stupid y'all are. Because every single time you try to bring up this argument of me being obsessed with Eric July. And then I look at what you present. It's always wrong. You're never going to get a gotcha because I'm smarter than all of you. I'm smarter than all of you haters and you detractors that think you're intelligent. You're not. You're very stupid. And by the way, you took this thumb you took this set of thumbnails a while ago. I can tell because this video is at least 3 or 4 days old. This video is about 3 or 4 days old and this video is over a day old. Same thing with this one. This one's at least a few days old. So you took this days ago trying to get this gotcha that you thought you had. You really tried it, which by the way, this video is about at 2,500 views now. Thank you everyone for watching it. It blew up out of nowhere because when I first uploaded it, it was at 250 views. And it suddenly blew up in a couple of days to 2.5k views. So thank you everyone who did watch it. And this one is close to, I think it's over 4k now. So, congratulations, you took this screenshot days before you made this shitty post trying to come at my neck, always. I have plenty of hobbies, i.e. comics, toys, video games, and trolling. Trolling is not a hobby. See, this is why your whole freaking post is stupid. Because almost every single one of your arguments, I'll say 99% of your arguments are stupid. How about you try to make real money instead of trying to claim the more successful people than yourself? But I have a real job. I'm sorry that you don't know what it is. I'm sorry I don't put it on the internet because a bunch of psychopaths would probably dox my job, get me fired, something like that. But I have comics and video games as a hobby too. I use it to make money. I use my ability to play video games to make money. Same thing with comic books. I have a few comic reviews on my channel. I have a review of Castlevania Nocturne Season 1 on my channel. Did pretty good. 
I have a review of ISOM. I have a review of Starlight Cats on my channel. So, yeah, I use my hobbies to make money too. It's called a second revenue stream. YouTube's actually my third revenue stream because I had Twitch before I had YouTube. I was making money on Twitch before I was making money on YouTube. So the only other thing I could possibly do now is make merch. So I'm still trying to figure out where in this entire thing you destroyed me or made a masterpiece. Oh, by the way, here's here's Edward Doherty, which I did. I did respond to this post, but I wasn't going to respond in a full post. I would rather just monetize it and make money. I said, first of all, I'm not reading all that. Secondly, are you triggered because I have a second revenue stream next to my real job? You call me triggered, yet you get triggered whenever someone challenges you about the Ripperverse. None of your quote-unquote criticisms have legitimate reasons. I'm better looking than you, more successful in life than you, and I'm pretty healthy. I can guarantee I've spent more money on hobbies than you ever have in your life, and you're older than me, I I'm sure. You're so low IQ that you really made the argument of, you wish you were making this type of money Eric is making. This statement right here shows me how intelligent you are. Everyone wishes they were making millions doing what they love. What kind of retarded statement is this? So, so here's my here's my response to uh, to good old Edward Doherty. Or the guy who likes to come into my streams constantly and talk a bunch of shit. If by masterpiece you mean stupid, then yes, you are correct. I haven't blocked you yet, so shut the fuck up. I just muted you, and I monetize you like I am now. Shout out to Master Hobo, who was in my live stream the other day, cracking some jokes. That dude's hilarious. Jesus, I'm not going to read that quote-unquote masterpiece, a.k.a. cope session from him, because it's exactly what it is. It's a cope session. And again, shout out to my boy, 210LG, on YouTube and Twitter. Please go follow him. Awesome dude. Hey, old Gnome Skull. This depiction was done intentionally as an artistic choice. He likes Castlevania, specifically Symphony of the Night, which I do have in my bio. It's right there. So I made it in that similar vein. He liked it and has been using it. Secondly, nobody's quote-unquote hating on you. Your bullshit is being called out, and you're too busy crying about it. The person who did the AI art for him. Which, if I was going to compare this AI art to your AI art, mine's a thousand times better. Then you're a piece of shit. If you're trying to make AI art, why would you leave two liver spots on top of your freaking head? You would think you'd remove those at least. Like, what are you really doing here? And again, like I said, he used AI, he used my actual face to make this. You idiot. <laughs> like, are you for real? <laughs> like, at the end of the day, though, like I say, my haters are retarded. They like to hate on me constantly and think because I like Eric July and then I defend him, right? I defend the nonsense and call out the BS coming out of your mouths, right? That I'm somehow a simp even though I've paid him, gave me a product, I like the product, I will continue supporting said product. I guess everyone and their grandmother since the end of time is, I guess, a simp because People have been paying for products since they could pay for products and have liked products and have been a fan of products. So I guess all the people who buy shit like Versace and Bugatti, Bugattis or fucking whatever, I guess they're simps too because apparently buying a product and being a fan of it makes you a simp now. By your definition of simp. So... If y'all don't want me to monetize y'all, shut the hell up, stop talking, and maybe you wouldn't get featured on my videos, but I know you're not going to, so I'm going to bring the salt to my fan base who is enjoying my content, and I appreciate them every single time they watch all my videos and comments, because I like to interact with them, and anyone who goes the extra mile to do things like super thanks or become a member. It's never, you're never obligated to do that. But when they do do that, I show them and I tell them how appreciative I am that they go the extra mile to do so. So this one was kind of long. I'm glad you guys are watching it. 
Thank you all for checking out this video. I do know that my fans actually like my longer form content more than my shorter form content. So I hope everyone enjoys this one as well. Hit the like button if you did. Comment below if you feel about us. We'll interact there. Subscribe for more content like this. Hit the bell for notifications. Set the bell to all. That way you'll get a notification anytime I post a new video or live stream. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.